You're lying again, Kokichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing us the video. It must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? What? What can't be identified even after watching the dead body footage? Is, it, is the word victim? V I C. There's a T right here. And then there's an I right here. Where's the M? M's right here. I see now. The victim. Huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. And that might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Another dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? Where would he even get another body? There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage, remember? Damn it! Me and my big Wait, it's Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? Kaito is... alive or not? I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't... want that. Okay then, let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Himiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. Oh, uh, okay. Let's all tuck it over together. Together. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we 
could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Kichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. A trick to that video. What could it be? What's suspicious about it? seemed unnatural, don't you think? The person in that video... Was it really Kaito? Something seems off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. Could it be... That the video was shot at another location? Any other bright ideas? Come on, everybody, speak up! That video. When the hydraulic press stopped from... I agree! Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press... The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video... The hydraulic press stopped briefly? Right before it crushed the body? But why would it stop? Why did the press stop? There's only one reason I can think of. Uh, those are the controls. Is there something over here? What is that? Is that an exizzle? No way, that's an exizzle. There's only two choices? So, this one? Wait, what? What? I see it! Oh, third option on the top. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the four stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safe machine. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the force stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Hmm, actually, maybe I crushed it by accident. I don't really remember. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? To the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been cut on camera. While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If 
you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stopped that, you could have swapped the bodies easily. Another one? Okay, so my deduction is someone pressed the pause button. That's my uh, theory. Okay, that's an electro hammer. What's the third option here? The camera. Okay, I gotta, I gotta reveal this one. Uh, this one. Okay. Get this out of the way. Jesus Christ! Okay. I see it! The culprit stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. That position, though? That's what I've been saying this whole time! When did you ever say that? So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? Where? Is it the paint thinner? No? Damn it! Okay, so... The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. To operate the press and the camera at the same time, it would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. And if it was recorded at such an odd angle, and that proves the trick was used. Camera, huh? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Well, cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the hype. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. The Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez! That place is like a 4D pocket! You don't get to make that reference! Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Or he was crushed by the press. He was swapped with a different body! Well, Kaito's still alive! Well, wait just a minute. What? But I just summed it up so nicely. Himiko, the different body you mentioned. What are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, 
Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? How would you get another body anyway? Very well. I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Thrown away? The other bodies are... Gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kai Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at the time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trick, then the real victim was... The two people who switched places in the hydraulic press. The other person in the hangar? It wasn't an old body, it could only be. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? <laughs> 